Hi all, Anthony is here. Today I want to showcase a new 3D code feature that allows us a curve designs using Blob tool and Curve tool and other, all other tools. So this was not possible before. It's a really huge update in 3D code in the latest 3D code update. You definitely want to get it and I'll show what I mean. So the first of all, you have to build curves to, for the patch to appear and we will be working on the patch and these designs we build on a couple of these curves like the chest it was built on top of this and we have the symmetry so i only need to do the half and then it will be symmetrized across let us build the curves first i'll press q it's a convenient way to open the curves menu i'll check the curves tree and i'll start to draw and i want to draw it on this surface i uh, like to use something that's existing because then it's very fast i can just use this as my base and i have to be careful at the placement of the points because it all affects the design and patch later you know what i press q i pick that little point over there and i want to move this a little bit i want to tweak this so it's say like that i am i want to have very simple curves the simpler the better simpler this design is better the amount of points don't need to match so on on this curve the points i have are less than on these curves i do want to check that i don't penetrate the head too much so I'm, when i rotate i can see that sometimes it penetrates the head you know there we go and i can try different curves placements because i had like a curves placement that was like this they all give a slightly different flow and i want to explore this one today so i press first one second one and where is my third one i cannot actually find it why is it okay this shoulder one okay now it's slightly confusing called the shoulder you know what i'll pick this three i'll turn it into a group i'll call it a helmet two group just call it one and i want to pick first one second one third one it's very important to pick the curves in a certain order otherwise the patch will be created can be get tangled if it's not selected in a correct order and i go into an empty layer i have empty voxel layer i get the blob tool selected on plane and then I go into the lofted surface plane so now it kind of almost automatically created this plane sometimes it won't do it or if you change something, you just need to click this button there, create new surface. There are a few very important options here that you need to consider. One is offset. So I can, you know, if I'm doing a helmet, I might want to offset the position. And that will be a bit away from the head. I can also extend this. You can see extension can be helpful, can be sometimes not helpful. It can tangle on certain pinch points. In this case, it's not doing great. However, usually it's extended anyway, and I, and I can also do filling. If I press filling, it will get filled, everything gets filled up, and sometimes that can be quite handy. I can start doing the patches. I, you, you can use different approaches. You can use like do filling and then hide certain parts. I can also change the brush diameter and I can increase the thickness of it. And 3D code with 3D code, we don't get everything perfect. In this case, it's you know, we can get in some voxel deformation, which is requires a cleanup later. But they're working on this feature as we speak, improving it. And I, I, I'm, I've been a better test on this, so it will get a lot better. But it, it's already great. So I mean, already using it full force because this is just completely new capabilities that were not available before. And I'm prepared to do a cleanup afterwards. And you can always change the offset and make it further away. You can see it does start to modify and do a bit of ugly stuff on the patch so you can move the curves by hand uh, and i mean the power power of this we can have these curves that describe all kind of different of the design and therefore we can assemble a whole suit here in this case a whole body armor if i want to and i i have my controller can come back i can more change things that i need to change or redo try different patch like I did have a different curves here and I'm, I'm testing which whichever are working better. They all have a different attitude to them. I've done a bit more stuff and you can see I'm using array tool. I can always introduce little ideas here and there. I want to do a cleanup. I will switch to voxel height and I don't want to use on plane with lofted surface and voxel height. That one actually is a little bit buggy right now. It's too slow. So I have to switch to plane defined by the right middle mouse button and i will start to go I'll pick this layer and i start to go cleaning this all up 
I, I created another lab. I was doing some designs. Uh, let me remove all this stuff. And let me, I'll click on that layer, isolate everything. So you can see we have a lot of internal issues. However, I can just subtract the, the character from this head and that will fix it. So I get the character. I will duplicate this character. Let's save this because it's always risky subtracting one shape from another. Press control, drag it down and I subtract it. And now I cleaned all the internal issues doing that. Then let me check this guy and I don't like that bit. And yeah, this guy is also. I'll turn off the on plane, turn on on plane. A little clean up, little clean up. And what I've been doing lately, once I'm happy with the design, I'll press S and I'll just scale this all out. So it's not cleaning to the head too much because I mean, that mannequin doesn't have an ear, for example. And normally, you know, they'll have some kind of padding inside the helmet, right? Like if you think about motorcycle helmet, there'll be something soft inside and there'll be also hair. So we want to make it a bit bigger. And I can always go then in introduce more things. For example, I will duplicate this layer, clean it, switch to blob tool, and I will switch to regular define right mouse button surface. And I can just expand on this using regular way of doing that if I need surface that's not limited in any way. Yeah, I, I needed like an extra curve here to fill up the back. I'm thinking maybe the back, I'll just try to fill it up is on plane. What I can do, I, I can also do a bit of a, well, the way the old designs were done, I would create an on that thin and I would just use the move tool to shape it a little bit to the shape that I like. And then I will be using voxel height to trim stuff that I want to trim. And don't forget, you can always use move tool to modify design. I use it a lot. Everything here works in tandem with every other tool that 3D Code has. I will be posting time lapses how I do this and build this on my channel. So, you know, subscribe, like, all that stuff it will help. And yeah, post it, post your things on our Discord, uh, the link in the description if you want to check it out. Also, I like to do the smooth all operation to tighten this all together and remove some sharpness that I didn't like. And of course, you can always overdo it and it will just disappear and become a mess. Or you can work on top of that and build a new design. Meanwhile, if you want to get deeper into Voxels, check out my introduction to 3D Code, where I talked step by step about all the tools and how to get great results in very little time. The link is in the description and see you in the next video.